Ashes Bakery in Northern Ireland was penalised um, for <laughs> refusing to um, k- uh, bake a cake for a customer who asked for one with a political slogan on in support of gay marriage in Northern Ireland, which is yet to be legalised there. Um, they their, their, their case went to the mm. through the Equalities Commission and so on. Was, was the, we went the, the, the court. The, yes, went through the courts and they were fined for doing yes. that. Um, they said, no, the as Christians we should be able to refuse yes. certain types of mm-hmm. messages on mm-hmm. our cakes mm. um, they weren't they said that it wasn't because the person in question was gay it was they were happy to serve gay customers it was the specific message they felt they couldn't in good conscience mm. uh, bake this well, here, can cake. I intervene here and this is very important this, I well I just want to say yeah. this is where there's been a, a key touch point of does secularism favour yeah. a certain ideology or does it protect the freedoms Andrew of the Christians the question, okay. let's get away from the cake all right. yes. It was a cake, <laughs> yes. uh, uh, but the, the crucial thing you have to understand in this, in this matter is that the cake was a publication. Okay. It, it was what was written on the cake. It wasn't, mm-hmm. it wasn't just the, the colour of the decoration. And it was what it said. The publishers. cake was a publication. Mm-hmm. If this had been a book, a pamphlet, or a newspaper, and they had been told, you will be punished for not publishing something with which you disagree, then the issue would be absolutely blazingly so like clear. Prince- because it's a cake, people don't notice the, okay. the outrageously totalitarian nature of it. You must publish now, this, whether you like it do, or not. Do you it's think not a secularism in a free a society? It's a firm than a publishing firm, I think. Well, but, the, okay. do, do you think secularism um, did came to the rescue here because it, it supported the rights of the... The person who wanted to have that message baked what, on that secularism cake. didn't do anything in this. Uh, I mean, I, I re- know, repeat I, I, again: the UK is not a secular state, so one can hardly use its judgments as yeah, exemplars yeah, of ju- secularism. The judges, now, the judges have said frequently in cases of this matter that it's not that, that they're not guided by Christian principle anymore. Well, that's it's a well, secular state de facto. So the not law has yet a de jure, but it, well, that will come. Right. Well, I hope so. Okay. Well, the, the, so, the, the, the so I'll, I'll let you come back on this, Peter. Let's I see think, what Andrew has I mean, to the say. interesting thing about this discussion, and again, it's something I mm. discuss in the book with the the, the, the place of conscience in a, in a, in a secular uh, in secular law, uh, which is important um, because, as I say, secularism should maximise the freedom of those bakers to the fullest extent that it can, compatible with the rights and freedoms of others. I believe that. Um, secularists disagreed. Um, mm-hmm. About this case, mm. uh, very prominently, even, even Peter Tatchell supported even Peter the Tatchell. the, the, well, the bakers. Peter is a, uh, yes, a, is a strong say, defender. Quite of, yeah. of, of free of speech. Yeah. Um, yes, I shouldn't say even. No, um, Peter I, Tatchell I, is an I, example I, of I one of one of one secularist who um, came down on the side of, the bakers, as it were, the yeah. bakers and said, you know, let's be reasonable. Let's look at it this way: other bakers are available. You know, mm-hmm. other uh, in the same way that other printers would be available. Um, other secularists came down on the other side and said the principle um, is that uh, gay people shouldn't be re- refused a service by people who offer their services to the marketplace. Now, I think actually that this isn't an example um, of a secularism versus anti-secularism uh, discussion. I think that secularists could argue it both ways. OK, so it's just a, an area where there's a grey sort of area and we need I mean, what, to... What a secularist and, will want to do will be, as I said, to try and maximise everyone's uh, freedom of conscience, freedom of religion, freedom of belief to the extent that it is compatible with the rights and freedoms of others. I think in that case, that principle was arguable. But where, where, people, okay. can be, where people can be forced to publish things with which they disagree, there is no freedom. Well, printing firms do, do that as well. They may do it, I but mean, they can't be forced to do it. Freedom. No, I, don't I, don't think, I don't think any court would ever would would, would ever accept it. It was the it was. I the, think the we very all agree with regulating nature markets. Nature of this case that that, right. that it was, and, and the other thing is, if you bring you, a service so, so to what, the market, the the, 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 the the character of the complainant was is, is one thing. The character of the bakers who were the who who were the who were the targets of the complaint is, it seems to me to be an important thing. They were an overtly Christian company. And Peter, do me. do you? I mean, why then? Do you think the the judge came down in favour of um, the the the, um, the person who wanted the the cake to be baked the and, and against the personally? I think the judge made a mistake in law, uh, and I, th- I personally I think the case must have been inadequately argued by by those who who, who made the case. I can't understand how any judge uh, in this jurisdiction could say that it was right for somebody to be forced to publish an opinion with which they disagreed. But I think it got the the cake issue has always mixed it up and and has, has, has somehow or other meant that people can't see the wood for the trees. It's not about a cake. This is Premier Christian Radio. Where faith comes to life.